Hello guys and welcome to another episode! We are back in the game! That's exciting! Have a little bit since last. I actually changed out the team. Um, for now. Like, I like to switch around and use all the characters. But I got this guy. And he got a pretty good damn sword. It's pretty high level as well. Don't really use. I have. Really, the reason I have Amber still is because of the bow. Then we have this guy. Uh, looks like it. Finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. Ooh, if you uh. are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need... <gasps> Monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Hey. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is the aftermath of Storm Terror's last oh, attack. Oops, what that meant to do that. For the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Mm -hmm. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Not really. Oh, them? They're super famous! Who are they? Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo god's power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Yes, we're going there. Oh. Someone will pay him. are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Okay, let's head inside now. Ooh, we're going in here. Embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you oh, able to Oh, this one again. It? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection. No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. 
Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell am I actually looking for. I'm not meant to do that. It's meant to go here. Guess we are looking for something. It's just around here. Hey. There's something you didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him. That green guy. He looked just like that guy down there. Um What? Guess we're following him. <sighs> Hell did he go? That green guy disappeared. Use elemental sight to track him down. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> so it's been a while since I played this last time. Actually, pretty much amount of nine days, I think. A uh, little over a week. So I'm glad to be back in this game. I yeah, have been playing the Pokemon DLC uh, a lot, and I'm still not finished with it. It's coming out later. Just want to get back in this game. Guess he's gone up at the wall. Here. Keep going. My character leveled up. There he is. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the divine Archon still walked the earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dolce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept. As a vile dragon approached monster to the forest, over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bards soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms, a brutal war spread. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber. 
only to awake to be expelled in a poor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer see. Oh, that's the thing we got. Wait, you guys are... Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Storm Terror! Storm... Hey! Cut it with the amnesia act! All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified? When? Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child. Now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? <laughs> you really do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh, what do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? <laughs> Familiar? Blah, blah. I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? <sighs> oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one. You can't miss it. <laughs> Mm, oh no. Teleport! Do we? Uh, up here. Hey, dude! Oh? What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Dvalin? Oh, uh, it's because gods... um... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. 
It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Okay, Python. 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 Don't really remember how to say that. Whoa! Hey, no, no, no. Here we go, come on, damage. Okay, come through the mess time. Come on. That didn't work. Stop that. This one is a lot easier just shooting like this. Seems the dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Okay. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh... 
That would be because I tried to communicate with Duvalin earlier, but was... interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Duvalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. Okay. Do we have? We don't. Okay, guess we're going back now. Map. Fly, fly away. There we go. Uh, maybe I should accidentally uh, screw that. Healing up later. So this holy liar de Hamel is one of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Duvalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? <laughs> that one doesn't work on a bard. So how can we get the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. Guess we're going! Okay, now back here. Guess we're going down where we couldn't go down last time with the... Uh, down here, right? Let me handle this. Hello there, sister! May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo! But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the knight's way. That's simply not acceptable! Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then... I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples, rejoice! Behold! The god of Animo, Barbados, has descended! Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid! But, I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the Holy Liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius... Maybe you can give it a shot. Uh, sure. Barbados bless you. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. Mm -hmm. So what brings you here? Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. 
Currently, it's only used in Ludi Harpastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, it didn't work. I knew. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're si Today we stand for free will. Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave <laughs> injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. Yeah. If you manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? No, not there. Up here? Ooh, got some here stuff here. Claim! Seems like I need to go over there. <laughs> oh, I can sneak like this. Let's get a cut there, too. Don't mind me, I'm just going through here. Get it. Who are you? She disappeared. Freeze. What are you doing here? Oh no, run. Oh no. We're busted. Run. What? Follow me. How the hell am I? <laughs> no! Okay. This time I got it. 
wrist. Here we go. Oh my god. Made it. Uh, Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. Oh, that's the guy we met. Uh, oh, came last time. Business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi, we'd like a seat at your uh, least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Not going upstairs yet? You... Okay, I'm going upstairs, man. What the hell did that mean? Look, have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Master D. Luke? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar. Well, how odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master D. Luke. Then I'm coming up here, right? Guess we're going down. Today I think I'll have a glass of You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyo de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal okay. the Holy Liar? 
You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? <laughs> it depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends. Very well. Let me put on a show. <laughs> what did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master D. Luke? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Okay. There we go. You're here. Uh, of course I'm. Wait, you're. Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise! I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Duvalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. Mm -hmm. I have a rough idea of where the holy liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryogods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then... The only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. 
Outlander, ready to go? And we are gonna save for the next episode. Yeah, we can do that in the next episode. Um, it's like I'm starting like right after this. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching, and I hope I see you all in the next episode. Bye.